Today I'm going to show you how you can get that film look in your photos and get your photos from this to this. And we're going to do that with a little toy photography and a program called Dehancer. Let's jump in. Hello and welcome to another video. So if you follow my channel or if you've seen any of my editing videos at all, you would notice a couple of these guys sitting around in the background. And that's because I have a real love of 70s and 80s horror. And like any self-respecting photographer with figures like these sat around, I have of course photographed them before. However, it never really looked like I wanted it to and I just couldn't put my finger on what it was. So then the guys from Dehancer reached out to me, asked if I would look at their product and do a little review. Now, I'd never heard of Dehancer before. It wasn't something that was on my radar. So I did a Google search just to check out what it was and whether it was something, whether it was a company that I could work with. Obviously, I don't want to be reviewing something that I don't believe in or I'm not interested in. And actually, I was really impressed with what I found out. So Dehancer is the OFX plugin suite for film like color grading, not just for photography, but also for videography too. They also have plugins for Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Lightroom, Photoshop, and Capture One. They also have an iPhone app too. So according to their website, the plugin is based on 30 years experience shooting film and also darkroom experience. And it's also based on a scientific approach. So my first thought when Dehancer reached out to me is, is this what's missing from my toy photography? And can I improve my photos with this plugin? So the only stipulation that Dehancer have given me is to give an honest review and to go over what I liked and didn't like so they can learn from that. Now I will do that at the end of this video and I'll go over some of the features when I edit those in Dehancer. So for now, let's jump in and and take some photos. All right, so let me just talk you through the setup. Tripod wise, I've got a little lower than the subject so I can shoot up and get those sort of hero shots if you like. And then the reason I've got the legs lower is so I can just bring the stem up if I wanna bring it closer, uh, a higher level with the subject. I've also got obviously the main character lit to the side. So I've got that movie style, half and half lighting, classic villainy type uh, lighting that you get with a back uh, drop of the lights. So I'm setting the shot up so you can see rim of the hat covering Freddy's face. Now I have actually come down lower to get that hero shot and I want the eye, so how I've set it up is the eye is just, so you can see it's just uh, in shot there. So it's almost like at the bottom of the rim of the hat. So that's the shot we're going for. And come in a little bit tighter on the um, face there. Okay, so for the next image, we're going to bring Freddy's glove a lot closer to his face. And what we're going to try and do is bring in just the eye. So it almost goes in that between that thumb and uh, forefinger there. Okay, so same shot again, and what we're doing this time is we're gonna come down from above. So for this last shot, I've got a aperture light, which is gonna illuminate a nice red to our figure. I'm also gonna use the little LEDs just to come in from this side. So hopefully I can get a nice looking shot. Here we go. Okay, so we've got some good images there. Let's get over to Dehancer and make them great images. The first thing you need to do is edit your photos before you edit in Dehancer. And this is because when you send it over to Dehancer, you are converting from RAW to TIFF. So you lose a little bit of that editing capabilities. And uh, Dehancer does have guidelines on how to edit your RAW files before you send them to Dehancer. But I like to get them the way I like them before I send them over and send them and just see what it looks like. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to play about with the settings until I get the image that I like. So we're going to start with this one with this Freddy. So we're going to bring the temperature up to make it a little bit warmer. Bring that exposure right down because we don't want we don't want too much showing because we want that dark, um, horrible, like moody look to it. So this is uh, just 
play by, I generally edit my photos by eye, so obviously I don't have a set thing that I want to do, so highlights I want to bring down because I want to bring down the light on the side of his face, and the whites I want to bring down just a little bit, and also the shadows I want to bring down. Blacks again, maybe a little bit, and then I'm going to bring up the texture, up the clarity, and then dehaze. I'm going to leave vibrance. I'm going to bring up the vibrance a little bit because I want that red in that shirt to pop a little bit, even though it's bringing the green out um, a little bit there. But that looks okay. So I'm going to leave all this as it is. That looks fine to me. So I'll speed through the edit uh, so you don't have to watch the rest of these being edited. So that's what it's going to look like before I send it over to Dehancer. And then when I finish editing these, we'll send them over to Dehancer and you can see what effect they have. made. Now let's head over to Dehancer. Right click on your image, edit in, and then Dehancer. You're going to get a little pop-up box come up and then click edit and it will load up your plugin. When you first open Dehancer, well if you use Lightroom anyway, you'll be presented with a very intuitive and familiar interface. So let's just go over the actual interface of Dehancer and then the left hand side you have all the presets, about 63 in total and these emulate popular film stock. So if you're like me and have very little experience shooting with film then don't worry you can still get just as much out of this as a seasoned pro. Like I said it's very intuitive and they made it very easy to use by including these little thumbnails for your presets so you can actually see what you're applying before you've actually clicked on them which makes it much easier to pick the preset that you want quicker. And if you're used to using Lightroom, you'll know you have to click every preset to see what each effect has on the image. Whereas in Dehancer, you can see the effect on the thumbnail, saving you time picking the look you want and thus speeding up your workflow. Across the top, you have profiles and presets. So you can access all the profiles and also create new presets in the presets panel. Then you have a switch to maximize the workspace that you have by turning off the presets panel. Then the settings, which will allow you to license your uh, Dehancer and also you can see different things like the Dehancer log files and also download new profiles when they are released. You also have an undo and a redo button and a reset button to reset any changes that are made. Then on the right hand side, another switch to toggle more space at the bottom, which gets rid of this and another button to give you a one-to-one -one view. You also have a preview button which can remove any edits that you've made. So if we put this on there, you can untick the preview or alternatively, you can just hold the space bar down and holding the space bar down will remove the presets, uh, remove your edits so you can see the original. And then finally, a cancel and an okay. So cancel if you don't, make it, don't wanna make any changes and okay for obviously applying the changes you've made and closing the plugin. Then on the very right hand side, this is where the magic happens. Here you have the control of all your color grading needs and probably with more control than you get in Lightroom itself. Although my skill level is nowhere near as advanced as this systems can produce, I still can get a decent result. So from top to bottom, here you have different panels. So your source, where you can do your basic color corrections, uh, anything you didn't manage to do in Lightroom and just needs a little bit of tweaking so you can bring the exposure down uh, to your image. Film developer, which will give you another bit more uh, control over like the contrast, the gamma, color separation, expand. This is where you can control your black and your white points. Print and color head, I think are more for the professional photographers that know a little bit about color and the type of papers that you use. For me, I don't really touch them. So I go straight down to the main parts, which is what I use it for, which is the film grain, halation, bloom, and the vignette. So the film grain, is where the image really comes to life because you can control every aspect of the grain. And the really great thing about this is you can control the amount of grain in the highlights, midtones, and shadows. So for example, the, you might want a bit more grain in the darker parts of the image or in the midtones, so you can tweak that up and down as you see fit. You can also control the size of the grain as well. 
Now, as I understand halation, it happens when you get a double exposure from a bright light in a film. So as you take a photo or you expose film, the brightest parts of the image, the light bounces around inside the camera, double exposing it. And then what that does is it creates that, almost like a halo around the bright and the dark parts of the image. Bloom is pretty much self-explanatory. You can control the amount of blooming of the highlights here, so you can control the amount of bloom in the image. It also goes along with halation and can add to the overall effect. So that's what the right-hand side of the image does, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just quickly edit my images to what I feel like is the film look. I'll spin for it the same as I did with the edit in the Lightroom, and then I'll show you the before and afters. So Dehancer have kindly given me a 10% discount for you guys and that is Keith Guppy 10. So if you use that at checkout, you'll get 10% off your purchase. So what is it I like about Dehancer? So one of the things I love about this program is the fact that you can change the individual parameters of things like film grain, halation and bloom. Really important for me to be able to get that film look and I think without that, I find it very difficult to emulate that in another program. So for Lightroom or Photoshop, it's going to take a lot more work and a lot a lot more effort to try and get that look the way I want it. So the really important factor of this is you can reproduce your images exactly the way you want them. So if you've got a preset that you want and you save it, the next time you do that photo shoot, you're in, say if you're doing um, studio lighting, you've got everything set up the way you want. You can drag those photos in and use that preset and it will recreate it perfectly to the way you want. The only disadvantage to the speed of the workflow to, that I can see is that you can't batch edit photos and it would be great if you could just jump on and batch edit like you almost have a like a Lightroom um, thing where you could load a load of photos into, into Dehancer and then edit them as they go. But as it's a plugin, you're not really gonna be able to do that. And it's pretty much the same for most plugins that you get. You, you just do one photo at a time, which is not a big deal. I also like the layout. The layout is really nice. It's kind of stuck to a Lightroom-y type layout. I don't know, I haven't really used the other programs, but this one seems a bit more like Lightroom. Lightroom's got the individual controls on the right-hand side, the presets on the left-hand side. I quite like that. I, I like the fact that, I like the fact that they haven't wanted to create a complete unique program and it becomes a massive learning curve to try and learn all the different things when you, this is quite simple, straightforward, and very intuitive to use. And that is a really big plus for me. Another thing which I think is quite good is the fact that you can open up multiple copies of this. So in Lightroom, you can select a load of copies and then open in Dehancer and, and five or six plugins will just open up and you can edit uh, freely between them, which I think is quite good, quite useful. So one really good feature is having the images down the left-hand side. So having those little thumbnails of each preset, what they do, what they look like what, before applying them. So I don't have to apply that to my image to see what it looks like and I can get a good idea of what it's going to look like and it will save me all that time of having to click each individual one to get the look I want. So one thing I don't like about Dehancer is the fact that it creates a TIFF in Lightroom. So I understand obviously that that's how it edits the program so you have to have the TIFF there but when I open up an image in Dehancer and decide actually I don't want to make any edits and I click cancel the TIFF remains in Lightroom. It would be great if they could implement a way so that deletes that TIFF file out of Lightroom when you click cancel and only applies the TIFF once you click OK. So that's my guide to toy photography and also my review of Dehancer. So why not jump on their website and give it a try? There is a two week free trial and if you like it, if you put the code in KeithGuppy10, you'll get 10% off any purchase that you make on their website. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I will catch you on the next one.